Hola. Hello, good evening. Welcome. Good evening, Hi. <laughs> okay, uh, we're going to start in um in a couple of minutes. Give me just one moment. I had to set up some things here first in okay. my computer. Okay. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear okay. you. Very well. Thank you, teacher. Okay, good. Uh, welcome, everybody. So uh, we're going to start with a class that corresponds for today. Um, first of all, we're going to... Um, I remember that I left a homework. It was about um, a podcast. Do you remember? Do you hear the podcast? Yes, teacher, I remember, but I don't understand podcast. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, I I try understand. But do do you take some notes or something? No sé, sí. algo que este haya tomado como notas o algo este de lo que tal vez probablemente pudo escuchar así, no sé. Eh. Eh, estaba escuchando como uno, por ejemplo, de de escritura y escuchar siempre de inglés. Eh, pero es como Podcast es como una, como un anuncio, o no? Sí, viene siendo, no, en un podcast viene siendo como un conversatorio, este, generalmente entre dos personas que hablan sobre este, un tema específico. Ah, eso es lo que quiero entender realmente que, que, ah, que es un podcast, ajá, ¿qué es? Sí, es, vaya, eh, un podcast, digamos, Generalmente es una entrevista eh, que este, eh, ustedes pueden escuchar entre dos personas desarrollando eh, un tema específico. Hay diferentes podcasts este, con diferentes temáticas eh, uh -huh. que son uh, simplemente preguntas, respuestas, eh, comentarios específicos, eh, dan opiniones este, personales, eh, opiniones científicas. Hay muchos temas, este, varios entre ellos. Son en sí, eh, como le repito, este, una especie de, de entrevista, entrevista, pero ah, okay. únicamente este, vamos a encontrar audio en el podcast. Este, porque eh, son como, digamos, como, como con propósitos radiales. ¿sí? Mm -hmm. Ok. Ok, thank you, teacher. Ahora bien. sí me queda claro. Muy bien. ¿Alguno de ustedes escuchó alguno de los podcasts? ¿O aún no han tenido la oportunidad de escucharlo? Yes, teacher. You did? Yes, okay. teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. Um, tell me, what is your podcast about? Joana, for instance, you, you said that. Okay. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. Uh, my my boss um, about the fruit market uh, in the Madrid. Um, they talk about uh, small 
farmer, farmer es, es eh, agricultores, uh -huh. ¿sí? Ok, um, eh, in the country of Spain, eh, the, in, no sé cómo se dice entrevistado, intervenido, uh -huh. <laughs> is Andrés Suárez, uh -huh. um, eh, little eh, farmer, eh, and the, who was a family farm business, eh, who do eh, control price, that not rice ex excessive or excessive, mm -hmm. eh, um, es, um, the goods suffered by the products in the market were evident, it was very clear that uh, price rise um, to the high goods and products, transport, export, exportation, and com com competence, com com competencia from the big bus investment uh, in the Madrid. Uh, only. Only that. Okay, very good. Only that. Thank you so much for sharing uh, that information with us, okay? Um, give me just one moment. Let me see something. Okay, good. So, um, who else? Isaias, you, I, I remember you said that you, okay. Sir, Edgardo. Okay, uh, good evening. Hi, ah, good evening. Good evening, everyone. Uh, the podcast that I hear is the robotic age. Uh, the podcast starts with the countdown from ten to zero, as the countdown when a space rocket is is going to take off. Uh, in April nineteen ninety, the Hubble Space Telescope was launched to the space, and, and according to the podcast, the project was delayed about four years because of uh, Challenger disaster in the 80s. Uh, the Hubble Space Telescope was designed to capture high resolution images of deep, deep space. Uh, deep space uh, have never been seen before. Mm -hmm. The launch was successful, uh, but when the Hubble uh, sent back to Earth the first pictures, it was a disaster. Uh, and scientists uh, thought that all the investment, uh, time, money, engineering were spent uh, for a bunch of, of blurry images. That means a billion dollars spent in a failure. Uh, according to the, to the podcast, the issue was a tiny error in the shape of the, of the main mirror. The mirror have been polished to the ground shape. Uh, it was too flat, about 200 nanometers. A little, a little error. Uh, mm -hmm. NASA had to fix the 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 problem, uh, sending seven astronauts. But at first, they have to take a training uh, with very special tools. Uh, they work in a giant pool. pool uh, simulating the fixing the real error. Uh, they had to go to a dangerous journey in order to fix the great this great project. They use the next generation tools uh, and robotic tools like uh, robotic of the podcast, the robotic age. Uh, this challenge was achieved mixing the four of the science, engineering, and a very brave astronaut. Uh, fortunately, the mission was a success and the Hubble took the first picture of the deep space that the human being saw in the whole story. That's all. Okay, very good, amazing, very good, excellent. Good, good, good. I like it. Okay, um, I don't know. Anyone else who wants to share the podcast with us? Me, teacher. Okay, Lisbeth, go ahead. Uh, the post of uh, listening is about volunteer work. Mm -hmm. Okay, and, go ahead. 
the postcard told a little a little history the volunteer work the volunteer work in the United States has been part of American culture since its inception. Benjamin Franklin opening the first voluntary department in 1936 in 2019 more than seven in seven million Americans have volunteered with an organization Adele um, is a woman who lives in San Diego and who always have an interest in helping in listening to her clients realize that they felt she felt happy listening to others but when her mother died of her interest in helping others her interest in helping other in Christ. Mm -hmm. Okay, that, that, that's all. Hello? Hello, can you hear me? What's going on? Hello, can you hear me? Seems not the teacher. You're muted. Teacher, hello. Teacher, you're mute. Hi, can you hear me? Can you yes. hear me now? Yes, yes. <laughs> okay, I, I think I, I got a problem with my internet connection Um, and I, and I was disconnected. Uh, do you finish? Yes, finish. Yes, oh, okay, thank you so much for sharing with us the information regarding to your podcast I, I couldn't listen to the end of your podcast but um well thank you for sharing that information uh with uh, it was cool to hear about that uh, it, it was about volunteering right okay um anyone else Jancy, okay, hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi. Um, I'm going to tell about podcast in education. Mm -hmm. um, this topic is a lot of learning English. And I chose this topic because I found it very interesting. It was about a program which was designed to learn the English language. Um, the program contained information about the history of the Constitution of the United States. They also talked about the importance of electing a president. They also talk about the meteorological event, event known as the Nina. Another topic with another topic was about the team. Does the countries near it during the COVID-19 pandemic? All these stories facilitated learning for the people who use that program science. Okay, thank the, you so much for mm -hmm. they ahead. they could develop listening, pronunciation, use the phrases and vocabulary. It's all finished. Okay, very good. Okay, thank you for sharing that information with us, Yancy. 
Okay, it was just to hear. It was just to hear about that. I mean, good. <laughs> okay. Um. Anyone else? Okay, Mr. Portillo, go ahead. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hi. Good evening, sir. Uh, okay. Well, uh, my podcast was about uh, the new music. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Well. Uh, in the 80s or 90s year, the music was more calm and relaxing. That's Today, right. the music can be dis disparate uh, sometimes. Uh, also, the music of the past was for the dancing and the quiet parties or, or relaxing parties. And now the music at the parties can be very loud and I don't know. <laughs> Very loud. Um, uh, in my podcast, talk about uh, that many of us will like to return to the music of 80s or 90s. And because uh, many, many kind of music uh, will be salsa, merengue. And now it's just reggaeton and electronic music, and it's very loud in, in the parties. So uh, I prefer the music of the 80s or 90s. Yeah, me too, That's sir. <laughs> me too. Okay, very good. Thank you for sharing that uh, information regarding your podcast, sir. Very good. Good, interesting uh, podcast. Okay. Let's. Uh, listen now. Uh, I don't know if someone else wants to participate. Anyone else? Any other volunteer? Angelica. Okay. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Good evening, Angelica. Okay, go ahead. This is your turn. Um. Okay. I listened to a podcast about the ocean that was made by TED Talks. They ask how big is the ocean and give a few information about it. Uh, one, it's only an ocean, but it's the, it is divided into five parts, the mm -hmm. Pacific, the Atlantic, the Indian, the Arctic, and the Southern Ocean. Um, also, they made the comparison how big it is with Buddha 36 USA land. And also it represents the 90% of Earth's total water content and 98% of the world, of the all world's biosphere. That's it. <laughs> okay, that's it. Okay, thank you yes. so much for sharing that information with us, very good. Okay, good. Um, anyone else? Any other uh, participant? Any other volunteer? Okay, well, guys, um, now we're good to move. Well, well, first of all, we're going to be working on an exercise uh, that I have prepared for you. I have a link where we are going to be um, solving uh, some, um, well, in this case, tenses uh, that we have to complete. This is about perfect tense. Um, there you're going to find uh, two different kind of tense. First of all, you're going to find uh, tenses uh, that are in, in, in present and also some tenses that are in, in uh, past. Uh, but the idea is the same that we have been, to the one that we have been discussing previously in, in classes. So um, the uses of uh, structures such as, um, in this case, um, I mean, simple past verbs and also past participle verbs, okay? So um, I'm going to share to you this, the link there in the chat box. Give me just one moment while I do that. Just taking this and this, and I'm going to copy it here. Okay, there you have. So do you receive the link? Yes, no? Yes. Yes, okay. Uh, yes. Let's, let's see if I can share something uh, with you. One moment. 
Okay, uh, there you're going to find different topics. It says has and has in the topic that we're going to be working on. There are some other topics like times never, or scenes, just yet, and I think that's all, okay? But we're going to be working first in has and hasn't. Um, you have to click on play in order to uh, work on this exercise. Uh, there you have some options uh, where you, well, and then also some vocabulary you want to be learning. Um, and also you have to click on between, I mean, uh, use affirmative sentences or use negative sentence. We're going to use, we're going to be working first in affirmative sentence. Um, I don't know if it is possible to share this information with you, but I will just let me, let me see. I will do it, okay? Uh, okay, yeah, it's gonna be just a moment. I think it's not going to be a problem with this. And also I'm going to share just a portion of my screen. Uh, I'm doing this because to avoid the copyright, because uh, you know, sometimes when you add the uh, information that uh, belongs to someone else, uh, YouTube and some other platforms, they just give you a copy. But I think it's going to be, if I don't play audios, um, I think it's going to be good. Okay, there you have three different words. Uh, this is go, eat, and do. Um, what you have to do basically here is to um, is to identify which past participle or in this case a simple password correspond to the one uh, that is in infinitive form. For instance, go. Where it's supposed that we have to place go. Gone. 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 Right. Okay. We're gonna we wanna just uh, take the word and we are going to place it um, in front of the verb that is in a past participle. And also we're going to find there some um, a simple passwords. Okay, so go ahead, complete this exercise. At the end, you have to take kind of screenshot of this card that you're going to receive. This card is something similar like this. Just let me share uh, this part. Okay, this card is going to be something like that. Um, you have to take a screenshot at the end and then you have to send it to the WhatsApp group, okay? Is it clear what we're going to do? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. Um, yes, and I have to mention something repeat that- Repeat the indication. Uh, tell me. Repeat the indication, perfect. Uh, okay, I will do it, don't worry. And um, I, I have just to mention something else that, um, those are not the only exercises that you're going to be working on. You are going to be working um, in filling the blank, things like that. Okay, there are some other exercises that you're going to be uh, solving, not just uh, exercises like that. In the uh, regarding to the instructions, do you want me to um, to give you the instructions in English or Spanish? You decide. Hello? Spanish. 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 Okay. Spanish. Yes. Okay, we're good. I, I would do it. Don't worry. Lo que nosotros debemos hacer ahorita es completar este, los ejercicios eh, que se muestran en pantalla. Déjenme solamente compartir nuevamente el, eh, la pantalla en sí. Nosotros nos vamos a dirigir este, a este pequeño ejercicio eh, donde nos aparecen como múltiples opciones. Nos aparece el tema de has y hasn't. Nos aparece el tema este, de los afirmativos, que es yes, y los negativos. Nosotros vamos a trabajar ahorita con los afirmativos. Y eh, le vamos a dar play. Hay otros, eh, otras lecciones como The Times Never, les decía The Four Scenes, The Just Yet. Eh, pero nosotros ahorita únicamente nos vamos a enfocar en esta parte. El uso del has y el hasn't. Le vamos a dar play, ¿de acuerdo? Y... Eh, Una vez terminemos de trabajar este ejercicio, al final nos va a mostrar un resultado. Nosotros le vamos a tomar una captura de pantalla y lo vamos a enviar al eh, grupo de WhatsApp. ¿De acuerdo? Sí, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Muy bien. Este, comencemos a trabajar en este momento esos ejercicios.
van a tener, eh, considero yo que seis minutos son suficientes para poder resolverlos, ¿de acuerdo? En seis minutos regresamos.
Do you finish? Not yet? Not yet. Okay. I'll give you five minutes, five more minutes, okay? Teacher. Teacher. Okay, tell me. Yes, I'm here, sir. Tell me. I have done the the game two times. Do you, do but you already send do you already send no, the screenshot? The, the 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 result doesn't last uh, enough time. I have oh. solved two times and I have reached five thousand seven hundred score okay just on the score just on the score there
this is just in order to see that you have completed the, the activity. So um, just send that. Okay, let's say, okay, very good. You had complete the exercise and it says that your, your score is 5,450, very good. Okay, oh, good. I want to hear that score uh, 5,700. Good. Kevin, just let me see. Uh, okay, good. You have reached maximum score. Very good. Okay, good. Excellent. Teacher. Hello, tell me. I can capture the score in two times. <laughs> no, no, hey, don't worry, sir. Hey, just send the score. Just send the, the, the just the numbers in a okay. text. Okay. Okay. Okay, uh, guys, we're going to continue. So uh, I was just checking here that some of you have already completed the activity. And I was just checking that you have good score in this activity. You are above 5,000, which is good. And now we're going to move to the next exercise. I mean, lesson objective. Um, just let me share in this to you. Um, now we're going to be moving to the section number five. And right now I'm sure my screen, just let me know if you can see my screen, please. Just let me know that. Can you see my screen? Yes. Okay, very good. So yes. um, here we have the lesson objective. We're going to move to the section number five, as I said before. And the section number five um, topic is crossing cultures, okay? And the, the first objective um, that we have here, it says in this class, you will learn about different cultures around the world. That's the aim of this video. Um, just take a look at the topic here. And it says, cross-cultural experience. Um, we have an instruction here in order to develop uh, some activities. In this case, an acti the activity that it's uh, at the end of this video. And it says, uh, watch the video about different cultures around the world. And in the discussion forum, the ones that we have here, 
Um, share a similar experience that you have had with people from other countries that uh, you have met, okay? So uh, first of all, we're going to see this experience. We're going to listen and we're going to watch about that. And after that, we are going to move uh, to the um, this part to the bottom, and we are going to add our publication. Okay, uh, right now, just one of you have already completed this activity. Let's uh, start. Just expand this, and then I'm going to play. Okay, here we have. Pay attention first. Hi, I'm Chris Brooks. Welcome to Travel World. Have you ever traveled to a country with a completely different culture? If you have, you probably know what culture shock is. It's a feeling of confusion you get from suddenly being in a new environment. The traditions and customs may seem strange. Expectations are different. You don't know exactly what you're supposed to do. You may even be a little bit afraid of making a mistake. In time, you get used to everything. But when you get home, you often have some interesting and perhaps humorous stories to tell about your cross-cultural experiences. Today, we're going to Latin America to meet some people who've traveled abroad and hear about their experiences crossing cultures. First, let's go to Brazil. Ah, yes, Rio de Janeiro. Enjoying a spectacular view of Sugarloaf Mountain is our lucky reporter, Fatima Nolan. Hi, Chris. I'm here in beautiful Rio de Janeiro. Like everywhere else in the world, people here like to travel abroad and have some interesting stories to tell. Let's talk with some of them. What's your name and where are you from? My name is Camila and I was born in Stockholm, Sweden, but I moved to Rio when I was four, and I've lived here ever since. Two years ago, I went to Sweden, and I lived there for a year. What did you notice that was different? Well, the first thing that I noticed when I got to Sweden was how people greet each other. It was completely different, because here in Brazil, we kiss on the cheek, and they shake hands. So I went to kiss, like, and they, oh my goodness, what's going on? And they felt like you're invading my space or something like that, but it's strange. This is Fatima Nolan from Rio de Janeiro. Back to you, Chris. Thanks, Fatima. Now, let's cross the South American continent to Lima, Peru, where our reporter Denise Oregui is standing by. Denise? Thanks, Chris. We're here at the beautiful Plaza de Armas. This is a favorite spot for tourists and the people of Lima. Let's talk to some people here about their cross-cultural experiences. Hey, what's your name and where are you from? My name's Andrew and I'm from the United States. Have you noticed any difference in the way people do things here in Peru? Yeah, one thing that I've really noticed is the public transportation system is really different. Because here, the bus system is private. And so there's all these people trying to get you on their bus because the way they make money is by getting as many people as possible to get on their bus. So the whole time they're yelling, get on my bus, get on my bus. And sometimes it's not the bus that you want to be getting on. This is Denise Arregui here in Lima, Peru. Back to you, Chris. Thank you, Denise. Now reporter Hillary Garcia is standing by in Mexico, our final destination for today. What do you have for us, Hillary? Thanks, Chris. I'm here in beautiful Tepoztlan, Mexico, a town that both Mexican and foreign tourists like to visit. Let's talk with a few of them about their cross-cultural experiences. What's your name and where are you from? My name is Delfino Valdez and I was born in Reynosa, Mexico and now I live in the United States. 
Tell us about your cross-cultural experience. I am married to an American woman, and she was making me lunch one day, and she brought me a soup and a sandwich. Once I was done with it, I said, okay, honey, where's the rest of it? And she said, that was it. Well, it is customary in my culture to have a huge meal in the middle of the day with the beans, the rice, the meat. So needless to say, I was very surprised. This is Hillary Garcia in Tepoztlan, Mexico. Back to you, Chris. Until next time, this is Chris Brooks for Travel World, bidding you bon voyage. Okay, there we have. Uh, now you are going to uh, add in the photo. Um, basically, uh, if you have an experience like that, if you had had an experience like that, okay? So um, just remember that when you click on uh, Añade una publicación, so we are, there, we are going to have a space in order to write, and also we have to add a, a title, okay? So uh, this is what you are going to do right now. Eh, lo que vamos a hacer es eh, algo un poco similar a lo que este, encontramos con las personas que eran entrevistadas. Eh, vamos a responder este, a, a la indicación que nos muestra, eh, que se nos muestra al inicio del video, donde nos dice que nosotros eh, vamos a compartir una experiencia que tal vez haya sido un poco similar a la que uno de estos personajes eh, ha vivido anteriormente. Así que ustedes van a contar eso. ¿Han tenido ustedes alguna experiencia este, con alguien eh, que pertenezca a otra cultura? ¿Sí? ¿No? ¿Lorena? Yes, yes. Yes, ok. So, si este, ha tenido alguna experiencia con este, otra persona que pertenece a otra cultura, cuente un poco sobre esa experiencia. Um, y en este espacio, pues, puede agregar unas dos, tres líneas. Eh, yo creo que con eso bastaría. Y el título. Aquí le pueden agregar como título Travel World, por ejemplo. O Cross Culture Experience. Le pueden agregar como título. Luego lo dejan en el foro. Y le dan aquí este, al botón enviar. ¿De acuerdo? Muy bien. Hagamos eso ahorita entonces. Vamos a tener tres minutos.
Okay, guys, um, time is over. So um, I think that you have complete, you have already completed the activity. Yes or no? I couldn't find it. Not yet. Okay. I couldn't find it. No, I don't know how, I don't, I, I couldn't find it because I couldn't get in my, my con. Okay, okay. Um, bien, este, de momento, por cuestiones de, de, de tiempo, este, vamos a dejar esta actividad ahorita. La van a realizar siempre este, en un espacio que ustedes tengan eh, disponible. Recuerden que el espacio para poder eh, enviar eh, la experiencia que ustedes han tenido con otra persona este, de, de otra cultura, la van a agregar en el espacio donde dice añade publicación debajo del video eh, que tiene por título Cross Culture Experience. ¿okay? Ahí vamos a agregar nosotros. But it's 5.1. Five, This one. Okay. I don't know why I didn't find it. It's in section number five. In the section number five, la última sección. Okay. Okay. So, um, well, uh, you're not going to have a homework for today, um, but uh, um, did you have, oh, okay, uh, just let me show something here. Uh, there you have this link that is uh, for games to learn English. Um, there you're going to find some other exercises like a uh, word search, like a uh, hangman or things like that, okay? Uh, where you can practice your English. You can uh, be working on it in order to develop your skill in writing and also in, in listening, because there are a lot of audios there that you can use in order to develop your skills, okay? So th this is something that I, I wanna share to you um, in order to see if probably you take an advantage of, of that tool. Um, right now, uh, time is over. So, and I will see you tomorrow, I don't know, before leaving, if you have any question regarding to any of the exercises that you are developing here in uh, the platform of English Corporativo, ¿Tienen alguna pregunta referente a algún ejercicio eh, de la plataforma de inglés corporativo? ¿Preguntas? ¿Dudas? ¿Sugerencias? No, teacher. No, teacher. No, teacher. De momento no. Bueno, si entonces no hay preguntas, este, voy a dar por finalizada la videoconferencia. Agradecerles por su asistencia. Ya estamos prácticamente en la recta final de este módulo. Eh, nos quedan, ¿qué? Tres sesiones más. Eh, vamos a ver. Sí, en el caso José Isaías, este que no había visto su mensaje eh, que nos había dejado en el texto. La respuesta es sí, usted puede crear una, ¿de acuerdo? No hay ningún problema. Eh, les decía, chicos, que estamos en la recta final. Ya solo nos quedan tres Sesiones más, la del día martes, miércoles y la del día jueves. Y con eso terminamos el módulo de pre avanzado 1. Eh, y este, por ende, eh, comentarles que eh, nos quedan pues escasos días para poder completar todos los ejercicios que corresponden a este módulo. Si aún no han alcanzado el 80% del de puntaje requerido para obtener el diploma, por favor, comiencen a trabajar lo más pronto posible para alcanzar ese 80%. Recuerden, tenemos eh, como este, un grupo de notas todos los ejercicios de las secciones. Eh, luego está el midterm, que es el examen de medio curso, y el final, que es el examen final, que este, eh, son las tres, digamos, cal, eh, notas de calificación que ustedes deben obtener para poder eh, pasar de este módulo a pre avanzado 2. ¿De acuerdo? Oh, otro dato. Este, recuerden, eh, respecto a lo de las inscripciones, eh, por ahí pues me compartieron eh, información y me dijeron que en este caso pues ustedes pueden escribirle al staff de inglés corporativo para inscribirse o este, buscar más información al respecto. Así que eso sería todo por ahora. Este, cuídense y pasen una feliz noche. Bendiciones a todos. Thank you, teacher. Good night, everyone. Good night.